find Sherry, and Sherry's going to throw it to my co-host because my co-host, Dwight Sanford, brought in a very, very special guest, and you will recognize him. You will love him. So here we go, Dwight Sanford. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today with a dear friend of mine. He's the shop foreman of 57 Heaven. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> where we get things, where we have fun and we get things done. Mr. Victor Davis, what an honor. Yeah, what an honor. What an honor. Thank you, Mr. What Davis, for being here, he here today. Is Victor Davis, what, Thank 88 you. years old? Good to be here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Buddy. Yeah, it's good to be anywhere at in 88 fact, years at my, old. At my <laughs> age, it's good to be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Don't buy green to, uh, bananas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we planned this a while back, and we were really looking forward to having you here. And then, Dwight, y'all had an event called Special Friends. Yeah. And I got to see Mr. Davis. Hadn't seen him since y'all left television. And once the television era ended and we lost your precious brother, Larry, things changed. Things changed, and I missed that old music. But I want to tell y'all, if you have ETC services, you can watch the Davis Brothers Variety Show right here on ETC on Saturday nights. We beat the Nielsen rating. I'm telling for you. Years. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, just great mountain music. It's about the man and it's about the music. And Dwight produces music, so you actually produced a song from him that we're going to end today's program with. Absolutely. And um, can you tell me a little bit about your first memory of him? When I was just a little boy, a long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah, I, you didn't have to reiterate. But anyway. Oh, aren't we having fun. Seriously, a long, long time ago, I, I'm sure it was about 1965 to be exact. Oh, I'm messing with my mic. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, oh, boy. Okay, yeah, sorry. Not to be confused. Yeah. <laughs> We, my daddy brought me, my dad and mom brought me to the wagon train and set up right there in front at the old steps in front of the old courthouse there. A flatbed trailer had occupied, had blocked off rather, uh, Broad Street. And on that trailer was Victor Davis, J.L. Burgess, Buddy Manley, and I don't know who was playing the drums, but them guys were getting the stuff done that day. Wow. I was out there. I was nine years old. I got pictures to prove it, too. I got a picture of me there. Wow. Wow. And uh, they were playing. And that's the, I was thinking this morning coming down the road, I think that's the oldest memory I have of Mr. Victor right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you kind of attached yourself to them, and you learned a little bit from them, didn't you? Yes, ma'am, indeed. I learned a lot from them. Uh, they played that country music. That J.L. Burgess. How about J.L. Burgess? Oh, one of the best. <laughs> Golly, what a picker. He had that big black hat on, I remember that day in 1965, and boy, he was uh, eating that Telecaster up. <laughs> and uh, old Vic had the rhythm section covered back there on that bass guitar. And it was a, it stands out in my memory, plus there's plenty of others, but that's the earliest one I can think of. Now, did you at some point in time begin watching them and learn from them? Yes. Yes, Lord. I'd watched the way old Vic played that bass guitar, and I tried to pick up on it. Uh -oh. It didn't go good for me, but... <laughs> you tried. I tried. That, that, is that the reason you're so bad? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no Vic, you, you've been a real inspiration. Actually, your name and Ed Forster's name are listed in my... Uh, comments on my Christmas record CD that I've just done not long ago. Inspiration. When I want to quit, when I get to feeling like, oh, what's the use? Look at this guy. He yeah. didn't quit. Yeah. <laughs> and, 88, and Ed didn't quit. Yeah, 88 years old and 86 mm. years old. They yeah. still love the music. I know. You captured the music for them in your well, studio. I, I've, we've done some music for him. Yeah, I've done an album on Ed and, and I've done some, getting ready to do some more here. I've already started on four songs for Mr. Victor here. Did yeah. he write one about his wife? No, I don't think so, did you? No. No. No, no. It's just songs he's always liked. Okay. I can't even think of what they are, but I'm going to do them. You are. I you haven't are. got enough sense to write a song. <laughs> well, he does. He does. You so. know, really, I don't either. I, seriously, I'm not a songwriter, folks. I'm okay, really not. Okay, yeah, right. It comes and it pecks me on the shoulder and goes, here I am, write it down. 
I, if you told me to write a song right now, it wouldn't go good. Oh, no, that's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Okay, tell me a little history of your families. Any family connection? No, uh, my mother was a Davis. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Sorry yeah. to break that news. <laughs> yeah. But oh, yeah. that's where it comes from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my mother was a Davis, but we're not related in really? that way. But I do get to come to all of the family reunions. Oh, well, yeah. Because more. they start asking me funny questions. I'll go, my mother was a Davis, and I was invited here. <laughs> no, nothing else. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nothing else, nothing else. Yeah. Most of the time they don't want to run him off. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dwight, do you know the history about how he ended up at ETC? No, I, I don't. Uh, but you want to ask long, him about it? A long time it? ago. Tell us about how you got to be part of ETC way back in the day. Well, uh, Larry, when they first started the studio, he, he, Over they 20 hired years him ago. and he, yeah. Was, yeah. he was an employee. He wanted to do it part time, but it turned out to be a full time job, and he eventually said, "That's more than I can take." Well, he had other things going, mm -hmm. but uh, and then he got interested, and he came to me one day and said they want us to do a, a live show, and so we got it all together and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, got some guys, and uh, I don't know how it ever went off because we never wow. did practice much uh, and the, the first time I'd ever seen the drummer was the first night we showed up to play. Wow, wow. <laughs> but somehow we got through it mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. I listen to it pretty often now just to see all the mistakes that I made. <laughs> <laughs> you do not. Yeah, you make no mistakes. <laughs> but we had a good time with those things. Yeah. I, we did 24 shows, uh, two of them in 2008 I believe it was and uh, or 12 of them in 2008, and then they wanted us back uh, two years later, we did 12 more. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, they've been playing them over and over. Uh, I, I told somebody that they must not, must have run out of anything to play. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> people still enjoy watching it now from that group. How many people are left? Do you know? Oh, uh, Gary Waddell's gone, mm -hmm. Larry's gone, and uh, Oh, Tommy Dodd, the, one of the steel oh, yeah. guitar players. Mm -hmm. he, he, mm -hmm. We lost mm -hmm. all three of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, big loss mm -hmm. in all cases. They, they, yeah. Tommy was good. Now, we used Tim Hamilton on 12 of them, and we used uh, Tommy Dodd on 12 of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nothing against either one of them. They're good steel players. Yep. They, they have a different styles a little bit, but they're both good. Yeah, both and, good. and Dwight, can we say that sometimes the steel makes the day everybody goes to that steel player and says man you did a great job absolutely uh we've said this before i'm sure but uh, without a good steel player your country music is going to suffer <laughs> yeah I definitely do believe. Yeah, yeah yeah definitely now vic what do you remember about the first time you met him well oh gosh i i really this is don't where you gotta tell remember <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm old. I don't remember too good, but uh, uh, I think I first saw him or knew of him in uh, in while well, I, I was out of high school before he was, of course, and uh, I saw him playing somewhere, and and uh, make, make I, I've it, always it admired good. him. I, I hate to say this on TV. Yes, but, yes, yeah. Uh, he's one of my idols, and uh, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, I love he's. It. Uh, he plays anything, of course. And, yes, uh, yes, I found that and, out. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. uh, he, he just, uh, and but he works at it. He and I are different in this respect. I, I, I need to practice, but I just never found the time. Mm -hmm. I, I, I guess I'll. I he has his priorities in order. It's music and music and music and then Fords. Yeah, That's he, his priorities he, in order, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> he yeah, really works yeah. at it, and. Um, yeah. Larry and I, we uh, we played but played for all kind of benefits and so on. But we we never took it serious, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, it, and Dwight does. He, he does and take it, show, it serious. It shows yes, too, it does. Yeah. He, when yeah. he does something, it's right. And 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 I have all the bloopers, and we talk about this all the time. I'm going to put the bloopers together, and we are going to actually show them one day because even even Mr. Perfection will. <laughs> <laughs> and and he's like, he'll be doing a song. 
<laughs> Two and a half minutes into it, he forgets the words. Oh. So yeah. even he's not perfect. Okay, thanks for telling that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I've asked yeah. you, Dwight, to do a live song today. Yeah. And w tell me what you chose to do. One by the Beatles. Of course, of course. You mean a whole song? Yes. Now? Yes. Oh, yes. I thought Can you we do doing... that? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think sure. about it? Vic, did you like the Beatles? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like well, Larry Davis used to play the We Beatles. have to say that sitting yeah, by him because he'd we'll smack us if we him or he won't like us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. So can you do a Beatles song? Right now. Yes, sir. All right, then. All right. Remember, you asked for it. I asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real nowhere man sitting in his nowhere land making Doesn't have a point of view, knows not where he's going to. Nowhere, man, can you see me at all? No, don't, nowhere, man, please listen. You don't know what you're missing. Leave it. I found that's out right I was going to play this do, song huh? like 10 <laughs> seconds before I played that's this it. song. And, and that's what you do. That's what you yeah. do. you know, you got to make it fun. It is. And that's yeah. what life is about. When I came to live television, I told them, I said, you're going to get what you get. <laughs> yeah. and, and that's what people call me and say, oh, my gosh, I love that you did that. I love that that happened. I, that is so cool. That is the real deal. Yeah. And that's what the real deal yeah. is, no. you know. And, and you got to keep it real. So, um Thank you for doing that because Whoa. I know that I threw it at him. I threw it at Boy, him hard. You threw that one. That was a curve. <laughs> That's don't, right. don't say that too loud. You give him the big head <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finally yeah, yeah. got my balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ella J. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to share Mr. Vic Davis doing some music that he did twice a year. Y'all do the special friends event. We do, yeah. I've been involved with that now yeah. for several years. Yeah. Love every minute of it. Oh, This how is humbling. giving back to the community yes. and giving of yourself. And that's what you will find that th these two gentlemen do. When I first met Dwight, I was in awe of his presence um, and around others because he's so kind and so good and he gives yeah. to others. And when I saw the special friends event, I really was like, wow, this is so cool. So we're going to share, and you stepped up to the mic and you sang, and then Ed Forrester did a song. So we're going to share both of those with y'all. So just sit back and enjoy a little bit of uh, our commercial break, and then we're going to go to their music. If you guys are with us. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue 
Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more.
is that to listen to you guys, 86 and 88 years old, giving of yourself to special friends who just loved it. I love that they got up and danced. A few of them got up and wanted to sing with you. Yeah. One of them wanted to be your duet partner. I thought you so. were talking to me. I was like, I'm not 86. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked like this. <laughs> But that was such a special, special night. Just yeah. just a wonderful memory. Now, we've talked music, and we're going to go to a song in a few minutes um, that Dwight's going to do that I absolutely love. But I want to talk about something that I love, because after all, it is the Sherry Show, although it's been taken over by Mr. Ella J. You know what <laughs> I love? Car engines. Oh. Loud car engines. Oh, my goodness. Dwight, tell him my favorite engine. It's a 396, 375 horsepower Chevrolet big block. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Ever That's built right. one of them, Vic? Four speed, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually like automatics. Oh. I want it with an automatic. Oh, yeah. But oh. you used to like four speed. Yes, I used yeah. to like four speeds. Yeah. Now, you, were, you are a creative, wonderful mind on engine building. Well... Yes. That's my, yes, yes, yes. Nice. You said that just like I told you. To. Yeah. <laughs> he can make an engine scream bloody murder and make it purr like a kitten the yeah. way you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, both of you are too kind. Well. Vic, what's your favorite engine? Well, I, I like them all, but I've built more Chevrolets. I've, once you get started on the... I call it shade tree mechanic, and mm -hmm. uh, you, you accumulate parts, and then it's easier to to, to work on them, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess I've, I've, I know I've built lots more Chevrolets, I've, although I've done some Fords, and I, I would tell you what my dad called you Ford, but I, I shouldn't. I can't <laughs> say that on. Did. I can't say <laughs> that on TV. Uh -oh. <laughs> you do know your own Fix camera, right? Yeah. Daily. yeah. <laughs> About them build, building Ford repair. engines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. uh, but he, my dad, uh, well, back when I was a kid, uh, boys would get together and fight over Chevrolet and Fords. You know. Of course, and, and <laughs> of course. I'm one of them. Yeah. 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 But to answer your question, <laughs> I, I I like them all, but I I guess Chevrolet has been my favorite because I've just done more of them. Mm -hmm. And I've done a few big blocks, too. <laughs> I, I heard that you have done some racing engines. Have you done a few racing engines? I've done some. Uh, well, I helped my brother. Now, Larry was <coughs> bigger on the race engine than I was. He did the strip feature for Bob Thomas. Right, and, right. And uh, oh. built yeah. that thing. And, yep. uh, and uh, I guess you know that the, that thing helped the record back yes. then. Mr. Thomas gave me a picture of that. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah. What are you doing trying to... <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. He's trying to hog the show. He's, <laughs> trying to do. he's trying to shine on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to ask you a question. 351 Cleveland in a 66 Fairlane. Pretty fine car. I've heard that, yes. Pretty fine car. <laughs> yeah. What's a Windsor engine? What's a 351 Windsor? I'm not sure. He do you may know, know the difference? That I can I elaborate. Know. Tell me. Uh, I, a Windsor is another 351, of course. It's a Windsor and there's a Cleveland. Now, the Cleveland was way more huffy than the Windsor, but you can make some certain modifications to this Windsor and get something we call a Clever. Yeah. And it'll sure enough honk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, yeah, the, the Cleveland is a little, you know, it's upscale, you might say, from the, from the Windsor. But a whole lot of people love those Windsors, and, if, and especially if you tamper with them. And what cars did they come out in? Why are they so different? They come in tra they come in trucks too, okay. and uh, I don't know. They're uh, Lord, I don't. You're not a Ford guy. I'm, I'm supposed to know this. Yeah. Uh, the Clevelands were made from '70 through '74. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the Windsor, I'm pretty sure it came out along about '68. And went on in. It went way on up into the 70s. So would the 66 Fairlane have come out originally with either of those engines? No. No. So what came out? No, in, in a 66 Fairlane, well, you had those GTs, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I have one of those engines at 57 Heaven. You may have heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's, the, the Fairlanes had a 390 GT motor, and they actually had 427s in them, too, back mm -hmm. then. Side oilers, boy. Uh and the Fairlanes also came with uh, 289s. Really? Yeah. 
Wow. And six cylinders. Instru interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But those Fairlane GTs, you know, is what you want to look at. A lot of them had factory four speed and 427s, and a lot, and a whole bunch of them had a GTA. It was called uh, the GTA, and it had uh, the 390 automatic. Lord, them things would fly. Holy mackerel. Now, Dwight, when you walked in the car dealership, when I walked in in the 60s, mm -hmm. I did not ask about fuel mileage. I did not care. Nobody cared. <laughs> I wanted the most high performance. Yeah. I wanted the 390. I wanted a gallon. The, I wanted the uh, six pack. I had a six yeah. pack carburetors. And you know how much fuel that took. I didn't ask those questions. I didn't <laughs> no, care. We didn't I care. wanted the well back then. I you wanted the noise. You yeah. didn't you mind the price so bad like we do now. And get your gas for twenty two cents a gallon. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Boy, it's a different thing today. <laughs> yeah. yeah it now is. I ask you to do another live song. Um, okay. I, I love when you do Merle Haggard. That's like my favorite. You did a George Jones <coughs> at the birthday party, and you did a great job with that. But there's something about you and Merle. Y'all kind of connect. So you yeah. chose one today, and it's called Mama's Prayers? Yeah. Can we do that? You want to hear it now? I do. I do, and I yeah. bet our audience does, too. Is this another curveball? This is a curveball. Okay. Well, can we do it? <laughs> yeah, well, with Merle, I might be okay. All right, here we go. Back when I was doing time, there's a night I can't forget. A madman. With a knife in hand Tried to kill me while I slept But somehow the knife missed its mark And I pinned the raging man Somehow my mama's prayers Had worked again Mama's prayers were always with me Through the battlefield Prayed for me and said amen in the name of Jesus Christ. From the death house in San Quentin, I walked away a better man. Somehow, my mama's prayers had worked again. One night while we were driving, the mighty Texas plains. A car pulled out with its headlights out, head on into our lane. As Victor swerved to miss the car, I felt a mighty hand. Somehow, my mama's prayers had worked. Mama's prayers were always with me through the battlefields of life. She prayed for me and said amen in the name of Jesus Christ. From the death house in San Quentin, I walked away a better man. Somehow, my mama's prayers had worked again. Somehow, my mama's prayers had worked again. Good job. Good job. Aren't you proud of him? I know you are. <laughs> I work better under, comp under pressure, I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you do. Um, Seriously, I always have, really. It was all I could do not to do a little harm to me behind it. Well, I just <laughs> wish you had it. <laughs> I know. Vic, who's your favorite? I didn't want to ruin this song. Oh, no. <laughs> who's your favorite artist in old country? Who's your favorite artist? Well, Merle Haggard would be high Absolutely. on the list. Well, <laughs> now, I was wondering why we get along so good. Yeah. Now we yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I used to play pedal steel guitar, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of his tunes were uh, I, I tried to do them, and, uh, and they, they were just, he's special. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, he's special. absolutely. Now, do you watch his boys on TV? Have you seen yeah, them? I've yeah, I've seen them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you uh, think of his boys? Oh, they're all good. I yeah, like them. Yeah. They're, they're all that really one, he, he got yeah. to play guitar really yeah. early. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And when so, Merle signed my guitar in Hiawassee, that tough dog telly I was telling you all about, mm -hmm. 
that boy was playing lead. His name is Ben, and he was 16 years old right, that night, right. playing lead guitar yeah, for the Strangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a fella. Yeah, now there's Ben and Marty, and who else? Noel. Noel, yeah. Met all of them. Yeah. yeah I've seen yeah. Marty on a couple of shows, and he sometimes he does Merle's song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can just see it in his song. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. just tell. He, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he good. was great, and I didn't know, do you know out of all the artists I've interviewed, all the concerts I've been to, I've never, never seen Merle Haggard live, oh. and one of my favorites as far as listening, but I've never seen him live. I've seen Merle Haggard 28 times. Are you kidding <laughs> yeah. me? Yes. Are you and kidding? I've met him three times. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I've been shot down. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Absolutely. That is hysterical. Yep. Oh my God. Where did you see him? All so much? over, everywhere. I've driven, <laughs> no telling crazy. where, to see Merle Haggard. Oh my gosh. That I've never wild. seen him either. I'd, yeah. I'd love to. My, it's too late for us. We'll see him in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My, my favorite, to the, uh, speaking of the pedal steel, uh, I, I have to brag about this a little bit. I, sure. I, I had a chance to, a little old band I was playing with, uh, Zell Miller was. Uh, promoting some shows in Blairsville, mm -hmm. and he came uh, or she came and didn't bring a band, so we had to do the whole show off the cuff, and uh, I got to play my steel guitar behind her. With and who, behind but, who now? Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn. Loretta uh, Lynn is, is that, my that's a female. Of my <laughs> yeah, I love Kitty Wells because I know it wasn't God who made Honky Tonk Angels. <laughs> I know who made those Honky Tonk Angels. It was some cheating, lying, scamming man. But, <laughs> but Loretta Lynn, Loretta <clears throat> Lynn is the queen of country yeah. music and well, always will be. I love her. What I liked be. about her yeah. especially, and I tell this any time to anybody to listen, she treated us, there we was, we didn't know what she was going to do, but we were all pretty familiar with her song. Uh -huh. And uh, she treated us just like we came from Nashville, really. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. one of the group. Yeah, know. yeah. And I, I've always, precious, I, precious I liked lady. her before that, but I've admired her yeah. even more yeah. after yeah. that. I interviewed two of her daughters, her two daughters, and um, we've had 113,000 hits on YouTube. <clears throat> and it was just us interviewing them about their mom's music, and, and we uh, went to visit Hurricane Mills, and, and you could just see the love that they had for her. Yeah. And even though Sissy sings and travels a little bit, um, Betty Sue just didn't care anything about that. She, yeah. she would sing with her mama, but she just didn't care anything about the music industry, just wasn't anything she wanted to do. But they both loved their mama, and the one thing I loved about them, they said, we want our mom to do whatever makes her happy. If she wants to keep traveling, Till she's 99, yeah. let her do it, let her do it, yeah, yeah. I will uh, interview Sherry Martin here for just a minute. Could you tell us about the time you interviewed Donna Fargo? I can. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I interviewed Donna Fargo. I love Donna Fargo. I love Donna Fargo, yeah. and let me tell you, happiest girl in the whole USA, from the moment it came out, every morning I started my day playing that. So my kids grew up with that in their head. And Donovan actually got to go with me to interview, Don, uh, to interview Donna Fargo, and we had so much fun. We had so much fun. And my kids were like, you're not really going to interview Donna Fargo, are you? After we've heard that song. I know, Donna Fargo. 40 years of our life, and we said, yeah. But we spent <coughs> two and a half hours with her just sitting down talking, back and forth talking. And she is battling MS. She's had multiple sclerosis since she was 28 years old. Mm, wow. And it has really done a number on her body. So Talk about a singer. Singer. A the best. singer. Yeah, yeah. Boy, oh boy. And, and the song, Happiest Girl in the Whole USA, nothing's ever touched it. Because when you hear it, you it's, immediately, yeah. it's it. That's the song. I'm not yeah. the happiest girl in the whole USA. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> but I love Donna Fargo's song. Yeah. I listen to it just like. Like us crazy the girls. Do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's something about, and, and it's like Loretta Lynn. My favorite song from Loretta Lynn is one she never does anymore. It's called Saint to a Sinner. Yeah. She doesn't do that song anymore. And it was done in, I think, 1964. But that's my favorite song. The other one I love is The Other Woman. Yeah. I'm the other woman in your husband's life, and I'm going to whip you. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. that. I love Loretta Yeah, I heard Lynn. that too. <laughs> yeah. I love Loretta Lynn's writing because it was about Doolittle in her life. 
Yeah. But the most amazing interview I've ever seen was Loretta Lynn as she sang Love is the Foundation to Do in the last years of his life. And tears were pouring down his cheeks. Mm -hmm. And I ask you to do the song you wrote about your mama, and you can't publicly do it. Oh, There's no. a reason those certain songs, because they just tear at your heart. Uh -huh. But Dude was sitting there, and tears were just pouring down his yeah. cheeks. And I was just <laughs> I <laughs> know. falling. I know. So, so the music is real, and the music yeah. is life. And a lot of the things you've written, Dwight, I've asked you, is that part of your life? Because you're non-drinking, non-smoking not a crazy man and then you write a song uh -huh. about i've been wrong before which is yeah. like my anthem i, I love that song. i love that song <laughs> i love that song I, I i'm addicted to that song it is just the greatest song and tell me how you wrote that i have this friend i will not call names she is the prettiest thing you ever seen beautiful girl she was getting a divorce she came by the pawn shop and she was telling me, we went in the back and sat down, she's a very close friend, and uh, we went in the back and sat down, and again, she's just beautiful girl, always has been, talk of the town kind of thing, you know. And she was telling me, husband left, I don't know how I'm going to do this, I don't know how, I can't pay for, you know, the, the, the insurance on the house. She was telling me all this sad luck story, and that old fellow went... <laughs> And you wrote a song. And I wrote, I've been wrong before. And I love it. Can you sing that for us today? Is well, there I any could. Uh, you like curveballs, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Is that better than a fast pitch that hits you in the head? Yeah. I think you like seeing me screw up, is what you like. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah. this woman knows how to fill the time. Boy, I'm telling you. I hope she knows how to make me feel the time. Yeah. 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 Keep you want to hear I've Been Wrong Before? I do. That Acoustic is, version. That is our favorite. Right, Vic? Would that be your favorite like that? White oh, Sanford yeah, song? Yeah, yes. Yeah, you yes. like it, do you? I'm well, I'll just do it anyway. It. How's do that? Do it, do it, do yeah. it. Here we okay. go. I got a good Loretta Lynn song I've sung all of my life. I'll sing Will for you, you too. Will you do that? Okay. Come yep. Here we on go. another show or something. No, no, I don't know. Today. Today? Got time. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this is without the kickoff. I'll hum it. Here we go. Do, do, do. Tim Hamilton. The bank says it's foreclosing and the pickup needs repair. The LP tanks on zero and my will is almost there. The hope I had left with you when you walked out the door. I would say things can't get worse, but I've been wrong before. The postman brought a letter. He said he needs my signature. That's never good. He don't, I don't know you had to go and the way you left me. Told him I don't love you. Oh, but the Lord knows I still do. And he knows how what I feel inside and the things I'm going through. My brother said there's a bottle that'll make this go away. I could dream until it's over or until my dying day I could do these things and tell myself I don't care anymore and I could hope it don't get worse again but I've been wrong Postman called from work today. He left a message on my phone. I called in to talk to him to see what's going on. They're laying off across the plant employees by the score. I would 
would say things can't get worse But I've been wrong before I would say things can't get worse But you better not Cause I've been wrong before We're too old to stand yeah. up. <laughs> that is, if you never do another thing in your life, you wrote that, that an was, amazing, amazing song. That Thank one you. Should, that one should be on. That should big be on time. everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I just and it fits life today because well, you think, oh my God, I've hit a roadblock, I've hit the dead end, I've hit this, and then I'll be darned if it don't get worse. Yeah. So, you a, know, time like, or, really. a time or two, I was privileged to play the bass behind him on that, and it was just absolutely. Oh I wow, mean, it was just great. Yeah. Not, not the bass much. playing yeah. wasn't great, but it was just great to get the bass. Yeah, yeah. Play behind okay, me. now tell me a Loretta Lynn song you've done all your life. It's a. It's called, whoa, now, whoa, another curve. Let's yeah. see. Uh, <laughs> Before I'm over you. Okay, can we do that one? You want to hear it now? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, you're going to give me just a second Okay, here. give him just okay, a second. Okay, yeah, now. i got to find yeah. out what key I did that Yeah. In. I think it was G. I just can't. Yeah, I believe that's it. I believe it is. Are you ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> I had this thing I did called... A legend in his spare time. Y'all yeah. <laughs> haven't heard that one. <laughs> but if you act right, and if you don't have any, if you don't show out or no, no big outbursts of okay. any sort, you we'll could it. get a copy of it. Oh, good, good. <laughs> <clears throat> when I was little, I sung this one. You probably wasn't born. <laughs> We've had lots of curveballs today, <laughs> but we like them too. Yeah, yeah. I just can't get it through my head. You love another now instead. Can't make myself believe we're really through. I'm walking. Now, and I'm sitting here in class, and I'm giving him a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang. Awesome. Oh, I awesome. love that old song. I, thank you so much. That was so cool. That was so cool. Don't you love that he's got all the talent, and all we got to do is sit here and look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I can look pretty. You can? Yes. I can look pretty, too. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy, you're crazy. Oh. Gosh, this has been so much fun, and what an honor to have you with us. What well, an honor to have you with us. It's an honor for me to be here with you. What an uh, honor. Now, when you go home today, what is your day like? What are you doing today's life? Well, let's see. 
And then besides I'll... Besides follow him around. He I'll bosses let, me around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to boss him around yeah. a little bit. I may yeah. have to go by his house because I have to pass almost by yeah. him and uh, yeah. Yeah. point at something for him to do. Yeah, know? I know. He does yeah. that. Yeah. You know, people, sometimes I'll, I'll get something done and it'll be right, and, and my friends will go, you did that? <laughs> And they'll say, yeah, I did and that. And every once in a while, he'll give say, me credit. Yes, yeah. he gives you credit. And they'll say, well, I didn't think you knew that. I said, well, Vic Davis, Vic Davis was about this far from my face when yeah, I did it. Yeah, but we yeah, got it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Donovan. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Donovan, you're the greatest. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yay! Thank you, thank you. You want some water? No, thank you. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I tell you, today has been fun. I've looked forward to it, and, and I was excited, um, you know, when, when we did the special friends thing and I got to see you, it had been a while. When you came off ETC and y'all were out doing your thing, did people tell you often that they watch you on TV? Yeah, every once in a while still, believe it yeah. or not. You oh, run yeah. in somebody and say, oh, you on TV. Uh, some time ago, I believe it was when we were still doing them, uh, a guy from, my, we was eating somewhere, uh, Sally and I, and, uh, and a guy came up and said, saw you on TV, and he was just carrying on. I, <laughs> I, I thought he, he must have thought somebody else, but <laughs> no. you know, he, he talked like he enjoyed the show. Yeah. And so, you know, some of that will be sympathy votes, I call no, it, no, but no, sometimes. No. <laughs> yeah. But every think, once in a while, I think they were. Y'all were the real deal, and that I think that's what people love. They love yeah. the real deal. They're going to love today's program because today was as real as it gets. Boy, there's no real script. On that Beatles song there. <laughs> there's no script. <laughs> we just get in here and enjoy life, yeah. and that's what it's about. We talk about a lesson or a blessing, and that's how you look at life. Are you going to learn from it? Or are you going to yeah. give a blessing because somebody yeah. did something for you? Well, my music, uh, uh, Dwight, like I said earlier when we was talking before the show. Uh, uh, Dwight takes his music serious, and you, it shows. <laughs> I'm, I, Larry and I have just always did it for fun, you know, and uh, we didn't, we should have practiced. Now, Larry could have been, uh, I'll have to say this, Larry could have been one of the best guitar pickers ever. Larry you know, was a good and guitar he, he was pretty good anyway, Real but he, he, he took it and leave it. He might be six months, he didn't even pick his guitar up. Wow, and, wow. Uh, but we... Wow. Of course, we did the same old stuff for years, you know. If I grounded you and said no music for 12 hours, what would you do? Work on a Ford. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Chevrolet. But, yeah. Well, you don't have to work on them that much. No, uh, that's the truth. Yeah, see, I'm making you look good. Yeah. <laughs> that's the truth, that's the truth, that's the truth. Well, today, we're going to end today's program with a song that you sang that people saw a little touch of earlier, but you produced it. Yes. Tell me a little bit about getting him in the studio, and how did you do this? We got him right in there. I did his rhythm or timekeeping tracks, and we brought... Larry Stewart in to do the steel guitar, and uh, I did what I do. I did the I did the the drums, the bass guitar, the rhythm guitar, and the lead guitar. Is that what I did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Larry Stewart did the steel guitar. Boy, that Larry Stewart. Oh, he's something <laughs> else. <laughs> he's so you're one. on four instruments. He's doing vocals, and then you have a guy on steel. Yeah. And you put it all together, and that's called mixing. We multi-tracking, multi-tracking, yes. okay. and then we mixed it. Yes, and then you mixed it, and yeah. then we're going to share the the end product with our audience today, and they will get to hear the production that y'all did. After that, they'll never listen to you again. <laughs> yes, they will. Yes, they will. They'll say we want more of this, you know. And I tell you this all the time, Dwight. You have a special personality and special touch to other people. And that that well, matters. That I, really matters. I agree. Yeah, Thank you. it matters. You it matters. Best. I'll, I'll look up <coughs> We've had some fun today. We hope we have entertained you. Yeah, and Thank we you also for watching us. we hope that at one point in time you're gonna entertain Aunt Margie with her here, maybe could you is there any way to do that? My Aunt Margie can sing, but uh, I'm having a little trouble getting her on the set. <laughs> Uh, I will not elaborate, but uh, <laughs> she might just, throw you just out. <laughs> trust me, I'm having some trouble getting her on the set. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would love to capture a moment of her with you 
just sitting in the living room. Wouldn't that be the coolest I thing know. ever? Or, or, or yeah, that or that'd be fine. Or come here. Yeah, either way. Be with us. Be with us. You, you'll love it, <laughs> you'll Margie. Love it. You'll like it. <laughs> fine, Margie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and she, um, you know, those years are getting by, and I showed you something I did last night of a ninety-year-old. We waited too long. Oh yeah. We waited too long. She was on oxygen. It was too long. It was too late, but it's never too late if you still can sing. And so to share that amazing voice and that great music, so you work on her. I'm working on it. You work on it. I'll get I'm you some vitamins, it. maybe you can yeah. rev up, rev up yeah. the act. I so, know. I know. Okay, guys, we're going to go now to a song that um, Dwight produced, and this gentleman, this young gentleman sitting by me um, is doing the vocals on it, and I hope you will enjoy it today. Today has been a look back. It's been a look ahead because we're going to look ahead to July the 4th. We want to invite you to come and be with us right across the street from Ace Hardware here in Ella J. We're going to be giving away ice cream from the Dairy Queen. We're going to be giving away sausage biscuits from the Dairy Queen, and they are back to those good old homemade sausage biscuits. And we want to invite you to come and be with us from 5 p.m. on July the 4th. And Dwight, tell them about the building. The building... Has air conditioning. <laughs> Has a four-ton AC unit. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to have it pulling low that day. <laughs> that's right. That's so right. So you're going to be cool in there. You're going to be listening to me and the boys play. Got Tracy Kirkpatrick going to be on the steel guitar. He's good. He's good. And uh, it's just going to be a good time. You can sit around. We're going to have seats and tables and food, refreshments. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. And, and, and you'll be cool. And what is it we do? We're, we have fun. And we're getting it done. Yes. We're going to get her done. It is time to go now to some wonderful music. So here we go. I hope you'll have a great day, and I'll see you again soon, only on ETC. Dude. 